meet the Navy veteran who became a sister of life, my heart was made for something more apostrophe. Sister Marie Stella once served her country. Now, she is dedicating her life to serving God. I served in the Navy and I tasted many of the good things that this world had to offer, Sister Marie Stella of the Sisters of Life told CNA. But I knew my heart was made for something more. Her military career began at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, which has an acceptance rate of just 8%. After studying for four years, she served for five more. Her service journey began on a destroyer as a gunnery officer. She spent hundreds of days off the coast of South America in pursuit of drug traffickers. Afterward, she worked in Naples, Italy, as a liaison officer. Then, she said yes to serving God. Sometimes we would be out hundreds of miles from shore and you'd see the stars at night, something just totally extraordinary, so beautiful, she recalled. She was in awe that God, who made all of this, also made me and he loves me and he has placed his love in every human person that he's created. While she looked into religious communities in Europe, the Sisters of Life stood out to her. I was just so attracted to our life of prayer, we pray about four hours a day, and then our works of service, of serving the most vulnerable, the poor, and the unborn, and the women who've had abortions, just bringing God's mercy to them. She remembered attending a discernment retreat with the sisters. Afterward, she prayed a 33-day no way now to Mary and returned to her childhood parish where she first dedicated herself to Jesus through Mary. She consecrated her life again. That same day I came home and my letter of acceptance arrived in the mail to the Sisters of Life, she said. I just knew it was our blessed mother really caring for me. She entered the Sisters of Life in 2006. And in 2015, she moved to Denver to help start a new convent. The reason we came to Denver is because we know that women in college are very vulnerable to abortion because they have their whole lives ahead of them and sometimes women who become pregnant think that they won't be able to fulfill their dreams if they have their child, she said. We came on college campuses because we really wanted to be present and there for women who were in, maybe in a crisis pregnancy. For women who have gone through an abortion, Sister Marie Stella emphasized the sister's hope and healing mission. That's one of our most beautiful works where we help women who've had abortions, she said. So often women who've had abortions think that they can't be forgiven. But the opposite is true, that there's no sin too great for God's mercy, and that he longs to heal us and restore us. While living out her vocation, Sister Marie Stella still sees her military friends. Many of them support the sisters' work, especially by helping with their annual Christmas party in New York, she noted. They have supported her from the start. Twelve of her academy classmates also came to her final vows. To be a bride of Christ is the most beautiful gift I've ever been given, Sister Marie Stella said. I'm so grateful for it. I love my vocation. She shared a special message with those who are discerning religious life. It's such a fulfilling, joyful life, she said. God takes nothing away, he gives us everything. While it might appear to be a sacrifice on the front end, we really receive a hundredfold. She recommended spending time with Jesus in the Eucharist. That's where he can tell us the truth and he can help us to discover how he made our hearts to love in this world. She concluded, he can just help us discover what he's created us for.